Okay, good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. It's the first day of spring. Happy spring. Um, I want to start with going over what we're going to talk about today, and then we'll go into it, okay? So we're going to talk about staying healthy. We're going to go over your packets. We're going to do your sight word practice. We'll talk a little bit about science and the weather packet that we had been working on before um, school got out. We'll go over your math reminders. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is staying healthy. One thing I realized with my last lessons video that I did is I was touching my face a lot. So boys and girls, that's um, something that doctors and the um, media are reminding us on a daily basis is not to touch your face. So I'm gonna work really hard not to touch my face. And actually, this should look familiar. I'm gonna hang on to him so it'll sort of help me as my strategy not to put my hands on my face because we wanna try to um, avoid doing that. You should also be um, washing your hands a lot. And just like we've been practicing in school, if you have to cough or sneeze, you're going into your arm um, and not on your hands. <clears throat> okay, so let's go into your packets. All right, so where should we be? Remember, every day we should be doing 20 minutes of Freckle, 20 minutes of Prodigy, 20 minutes of Raz Kids. Parents, if you need passwords, usernames, um, write me on Class Dojo and I can send those to you very easily. All right, um, sight word practice. This page, number 10, should be filled up by the end of today. I mean, it's still really early in the morning, so you've got plenty of time. But you should have been using your sight words that was list 30 from your homework folder right here. And these words you should have used in a sentence for your sight words sentence week one. Okay? So that's where you should be with that. Um, and then when you go over to your spelling, remember this week I was working on set one, compound words, which is um, one word that's actually made up of two words put together. So today will be my last day working with my set one. You might have used set two or set three, but today will be your last day with that set, okay? Whichever set you used. And you should have each spelling activity filled in. Thank you, Yoon actually sent me um, the answers to her rhyming words that she filled in. So thank you very much for that. Um, okay, and then today you should be finishing your paper on your important person. Earlier this week, I did my brainstorm on this page with a picture of my mom. <laughs> I was just going to itch my face and I had to stop. Um, okay, so a picture of my mom and my three reasons uh, why she's important to me. So you may have only gotten your introductory paragraph done and your paragraph one done maybe this um, earlier this week, but today you wanna try to wrap up this paper, okay? So I went ahead and I did my introductory paragraph and it says, I love my mom. She is the best person. I don't know where I would be without her. Then I go to paragraph two, I skip a line, I indent, I go in, and I make sure I start my paragraph with the word first. So my next paragraph, because this is where I'm going to take what my first reason was, and I'm going to explain that, right? So I'm writing, <clears throat> first, my mom is important to me because she is always there for me. If I'm sad, she will comfort me. If I get hurt, she will do anything she can to make it better. Okay, now I did not do paragraphs three, four, and five, because I want you to do your own work. But don't forget that when you're doing paragraphs, your paragraphs um, two would start with the word first, paragraph three will start with the word then, paragraph four will start with the word last, and don't forget your concluding paragraph, okay? And it starts with in conclusion, and all of those are followed by a comma, and we capitalize the first letter in each one of those because they're at the beginning of a sentence. Okay, so you should be finishing your first writing prompt and don't forget to draw a nice picture of you and whoever your important person is. If you finish writing your paper, send me a picture on Class Dojo and I'll post it for other students to see the work that you did. Okay, and then coming over to our leveled readers, you should have already done your leveled reader one questions. So I'm on page, the second page, which is leveled readers two questions. So you should have read a second book that you picked out 
um, Friday in school. Remember when we were still together, you were able to pick out six books. So you should be finishing your second book today if you're scheduling yourself to take a break on the weekend, which I am. Okay. All right. So that's where we are with our packet review. Um, let's do a sight word practice. And so what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to hold up each one of your sight words from list 30. And these come from your homework folder. I'm going to hold them up for three seconds. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to hold them up and try to say the word. Okay. Um, Remember, the idea is not always that you're perfect, though we would love for you to get all 10 correct, but the real goal is to just improve from where you were the day before, okay? All right, so you have three seconds with each word. Here we go. Okay, I hope you got a, um, more words right today than you have from the previous days this week, okay? Because we will actually move to list 31 on Monday. We'll be done with list 30, okay? Um, don't forget your gratitude journals. Hopefully you brought those home, writing down things that we're grateful for. I know I'm, I am um, grateful for being able to get a, a lot of things done around the house, and I'm spending a lot of time with my dogs. Um, and if you didn't take your gratitude calendar home with you, then you can just write something that you're grateful for on a sheet of paper, right? Okay. Um, science. I've so missed doing science with you guys because we were having so much fun doing our weather unit. Um, if you remember, was there precipitation this weekend, this past weekend? There was a lot of precipitation this past weekend. Um, have we had precipitation this week? Not really. Um, this morning when we woke up, it was really cold out. I'm not sure what time you guys are getting up. I'm hoping you're out of bed by like maybe eight o'clock. Um, but when I woke up, it was, it was about 49 degrees, but it, it's going to get up to 64 degrees today. So it's going to be a beautiful day. And I really hope that you guys are getting outside and you're playing. Um, it's important to do all of your schoolwork, but it's also really important that you are, um, outside and you're in nature. We talk about that a lot in class, right? So um, the next thing that we have to talk about is our math reminder. And you should be doing two pages out of this workbook, which we sent home on Friday, okay? And you can do any two pages any day, Monday through Friday, up to page SB40, okay? So if I want to just open this page and I want to do this page today and I want to do this page today, then you're done your math with that, okay? Okay. All right, you guys, so just like always, um, I miss you so much. I hope you're being nice to your brothers and sisters, and I will be back with a video in a little bit with your um, story. Also, uh, the link is available now for you guys to take AR tests at home, so I will send that on Class Dojo as well. Okay, make sure you're being nice to your brothers and sisters. Make sure you're trying to find some way that you can help um, the adults around the house too. Maybe you just try to make a goal to at least do uh, one chore maybe or one thing that you helped with at home. I miss you guys so much. Be nice to your brothers and sisters and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.